Well, it's a pretty good looking day today. Sun's a shining. That's always a beautiful thing. I believe today is the day I need to crank Cinderella and get her in here in the garage. Uh, I redid all the brakes on this thing last year. It's got new master cylinders, wheel cylinders, brake lines. The whole kit and caboodle's new except for the reservoir and the little metal line that leads from the reservoir to the master cylinder. And I noticed the brakes went out on this thing just before the end of the year last year and I figure, okay, that, that reservoir line's probably rusted out and probably sucked air down in there and I uh, got air in my system. So I need to fix that reservoir line. I need to crank this baby up. She's been sitting all winter. She could use a coat of wax. So I'm figuring, okay, get her in the garage, give her a coat of wax, uh, fix the reservoir line, bleed the brakes, have her where it'll be a turnkey car where Tris can uh, jump in it and ride in it and enjoy it. And that'd be a good task for today. I know it would be completely miraculous for this thing to crank after sitting all winter, but as a part of me, it just can't help but wanting to try it. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna crank and then I'll run and get a battery charger and throw the battery charger on there and let it charge for a little while. But like I say, there's just that part of me that wants to try it. So i get in here and see, see what happens if I give her a try. Well, you know, she's turning over. That's amazing, after she sat all winter. Dang, might just crank. A little gas in the carburetor. Wouldn't it be cool if she did? I think a little shot of ether in the carburetor wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Well, I think the ether doesn't crack. I'll give her another Hard enough to burn the ether off. Take that breather off of there. That way we can get some ether right down in the car. Maybe running enough for that fuel pump to pick up some fuel. Okay, I made the battery tired. Well, that's more than I could have expected after sitting all winter. Well, she's acting just like she's not getting uh, any fuel, just like the uh, either the fuel pump ain't working or I might have a stopped up gas line. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at, there's a little see-through filter here. I can't see any gas in there, but I, I don't know if it's because my eyes ain't good or I ain't got enough light or if that thing is too musty and dusty. I suppose the next thing to do would be to pull the uh, top line off here and see if there's uh, gas coming out of it. Probably need to rig the starter where I can turn it over while I'm back here to look at it. And the other thing is uh, to make sure that I got gas coming from the gas line making it to the fuel pump. This is the fuel pump right here. It looks like a new one. I got an electric fuel pump in the house there. Uh, 
Hmm. I'll study on that some, and I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay. This is the fuel line that goes to the gas tank, and I uh, kind of blew into it and then sucked on it a little bit, and I got a mouthful of gas, so I know I'm getting gas to there. This is the uh, fuel line that was connected to the top of the carburetor, and it's dry as a bone. There hadn't been any gas in that line. And another interesting thing, this little metal piece pulled out of the carburetor. I don't know if that's such a good sign right there. Can you see that? This is where the carburetor inlet is, and that thing is just loose. I mean, even if that was working right, how much air would that be sucking, and how much fuel is liable to be getting lost there? So that's something that needs to be addressed, I reckon. Uh, Got a little electric fuel pump in there. I suppose I could uh, straighten up that carburetor connector and just hook the little electric fuel pump up and uh, try it. See what happens. Uh, yeah, see what happens, I guess. Might as well get some use out of it. <laughs>